Bill. Where's the old one? <laughs> You're not getting me. Uh, what did you say? What are you taking now? Well, oh, you're changing the bulbs. Yeah. Hmm. There's a bulb in that lamp, you know. Yeah, but it was. I know they got it going, but I'm gonna break it after, so it's not gonna do no good to them. Yeah, I got it going now. Now it doesn't take three or four new commanders to change the light bulb. It only takes two. Give me that. Give me the one part. Don't give part. It only takes two to lay on. That's what he's gonna follow, huh? I don't, this one's, he don't sound like he's gone. I'm trying. I would say he's not. Right? He's not rambling like they usually do. Sorry. That's a good book. No, that's what I want. You come and get it. <laughs> that's not true. We got a picture of you. You got a Kanaka. We got a picture of you here last year with this lighter. Rhoda took today. With the pink lighter that looks like this. Rhoda lost that picture. He broke down. Who? Flood. Flood. Can't see it, Huh? Right up against the bridge. Huh? Right up against the bridge. It came after heavy rains that started falling last night. The people are worried. There's more rain forecast for tonight, too. Doug Clear, CBC News, Stephen Doe. Another step in the cleanup of the lower Humber River began today. He's thinking about the money, see me? Poor Charlie. He's having his life like that. No. Baby, baby. What is it? It's uh, 11, is it 10 or 11? What? Oh, no. 10. It's good. Yeah. So, <coughs> I took a day off Saturday. Yes, the boss could have a day off Saturday for 12. Take me to the car. <coughs> Hey, is Alfred's new. What's your card, Alfred? Transit? Huh? Grand Dan. Grand Dan. Yeah. Beautiful car, boy. Hello. Pop trunk in the head in there too. That means you can open it from the inside. Yeah. Carrying rack in the back here. Take a big look from this side here. <coughs> Throw you in the back seat. Bring camera down. I can see it. Can you see? Yeah. Right in the back here? Yep. See if you got anybody with skis or anything, right? So you can pull her down. This is right into the trunk here. That goes right into the trunk. Yeah. And that's if you got people sitting here. But if you got no one in the back and you've got a lot of luggage, you can take both of them down. Mm -hmm. Is that what that's made for purposely for that? Purposely for that, yeah. If you got yeah. large, large, long stuff to carry. You know? Hey, the balloons. What? What's that on? The balloons are right there now. Is they? Yeah. We have tried to get a picture now. Where'd he go? You won't, you won't see them now. You won't see them now. <clears throat> There's uh, two loans out in the harbor. And they got the young ones with them. They just came out, was it? Yesterday or the day before? Well, the loon and the young ones is out there, but we're not going to be able to see them. Not on this one, anyway. Not yet. Yeah, I can... Uh 
Well, I don't know. Can, can you pick it up with the naked eye? Yeah, yeah. not there now. I didn't pick it up with the naked eye, but he's, he's way out. Get in the car and go up the road, you might be able to pick Listen, it up. Listen, uh, Jim, you're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tell me now, what house on the other side is it lined up with? Uh, you're lined up, you see these two houses there, there's one here and one next to it. And there's an orange, uh, a red garage next to it or Yeah, not? yeah. Well, between these two base houses, come straight down from it. And right in the middle of these two houses where the green tree is still. Come straight down, should be that in the orange? No, he... he Daddy there? Yeah, that's he. You see him? Yeah, I can see him. Well, where's the other one to go? Is that funny for the loons being salt water? Mm, that's no. where they belong. That's where they are in Sometimes salt water. Yeah. Is it Alfred? Nothing. Up again, huh? She turned on? Yep. Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? You sleeping? Stick your tongue at me again. Can't see it. <laughs> You're licking the drapes. Someone pushed me that way.
Yeah, I'll see Pete and some big up ones. One in the background there. Yeah. It good or what? I'm not choking over my teeth either. <laughs> I mean, you pick. That's it. Except for the few I eat. Let me see him now. Show him up. Just stay up. there, stay there. Huh? They're dried up. Yeah. Old. A little bit late. They'll do. Daddy. And they have us as well. What did you find? Empty cartridge still. Okay. 22 bullets in. Yeah. 30, 30 bullets Somebody shooting at the birds, I suppose. See the people. There's not. There's no sea on here today. And then this westerly and calm. Mm. Don't litter the water. Beautiful. Beautiful place, beautiful place to be on a day like today. It's about 24 degrees. Today. What? what do you think? My daddy's picking big apples. What I didn't get. I didn't know. It's about spoiled now. Yep. Big apples. Blackberries. That's for Rhoda. Don't eat them. <laughs> we gotta bring them back to Rhoda, Dad. Hmm? That's for Rhoda's pudding. Well, she no blueberries. Not out here. We're in the wrong place. We get blueberries up train tracks and up around there. Need some white berries. They could be blueberries. <laughs> if they're green, they're blue. Here the sea. I come out here when there's a big sea on. Eat the gold, tell me over there. Look. That's where we're gonna go next. Eat the gold. Cape Gulch is just over that ridge there. That's one of our favorite spots. There's usually a sea on over there. When I get over there, I'll, the only thing that comes to mind is that hymn. How great thou art. I see all the beautiful things that... one drop is enough. Yeah. Right 
This is Capelin Gulch in Little Catalina. And there's Alvin walking out there. What we got there? You know, as I said before, there's not much of a sea today, so I can't really feel what I feel when there's a sea on. This is one of the most beautiful spots for me. Reminds me of my childhood in Rocky, Her Rocky Cove and the Lake in Hair Harbor. Nothing quite like the sea, especially when you grew up by it, eh? Only one thing missing here now. If you could smell what I smell. The salt air. The blackberry sods. There's just nothing quite like it. Beautiful place, Cape and Gulch. Dad's got the binoculars out there looking at the boats. This is where you see the big ships out here. Longliners and trawlers and draggers. Hunts and dories too, I guess. August the 17th today. Nothing like a scene. Nothing quite does it. A scene like this will really cut you down the side and make you realize how insignificant you are. Yeah. 
shaft. Look at that. This is the most incredible place. Johnson, I think they said it was. She loves looking at the round rocks. See anything interesting down there? <laughs> Yeah, the garbage man. I wouldn't go up any farther than that. The wave comes in, you're going to get wet. Yeah. Huh? The water, the, those rocks are slippery, so watch it. Well, you got your hands there, rocks. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Go on, way, look. Another one will come in and get you. <laughs> Go out the way you came in, look. No. Go now. There it comes in again. It's going to get you. Get it now while it's going out, look. Get your feet wet? What? Did you get your feet wet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you get a smack in the ass with one once, it's a big one. <laughs> Smells good, eh? Come on up now. Come on up. Johnny Johnson coming in with some fish this morning. Some green oil in the back of him there. Beautiful day. Much good. Yeah. Right into the sun, I made it. 
get very good there. What's that, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> that truck, well, look how long it is. That truck. Mine calls. is now on the collar. Johnny Johnson's boat. There's the missus. <laughs>
That's Sandy Beach in Alliston. Beautiful afternoon. Joy is a beautiful park. Kids just love playing the uh, salt water. See. Right here, not only the kids. <laughs> Adults loves it too. Here's Floyd Hobbs. Enjoying getting his feet wet, cooling off. The water is extremely cool. Just today, they tell me. Here's Rodney. Matthew. <laughs> There's Matthew. Hello, the Steve there on the raft. Matthew or Smiley. Going around. Enjoying himself at the sun. There's Sister Bonnie back on there. Dead. Come on. There's Elsie. And Stephen. I'm playing the rocks. Rodney. Bonnie. It's Matthew, clearly. Today, I guess it's a bit cold. There's the skipper looking on there. <laughs> Real evil little fella, isn't it? Right full of life. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wait to know what. Now, eh, ready to go again. Oh, got that piss. Yeah. Not like to piss in the water, eh, buddy? Oh, Sam. Right, ready to go again. There he goes. <laughs> Sam. 
So even I don't want to go. Uh, That family's truck.
Beautiful spot, the one. Yes. Not too many here today, though. Mm -hmm. Every day when I was down, you couldn't get a place to put your blanket. It's a little bit colder today. Now before you get back that card, but anyway. Yeah. You're going to Maverick? Yeah. So that's the green peas. Look at this. Did you and Josh? Uh, Me and Josh and Aaron Jones did these. We planted them earlier. In June, I guess. Yeah. This is the first time I tried them. So I guess this is just a trial and error because I can see the error of my ways right now. Planted them too close together. And they, uh, sun couldn't get at them or something, and they just rotted away right there under the soil. Show me one now, one that, uh, that you got picked. You want to see the peas in it? Yeah. There's some kind of size, I tell you. Look at the size of this. These are nice sized peas, look boy. Yeah. Keep them in your hand there so they can see it. Pull up your hand. Gee boy, that is big, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're bigger than anything I've ever seen in the, in the stores. Yeah. Well, we'll know what to do another year. Yeah. Huh? I think the storm done some damage to the flowers. <coughs> oh yeah, that big rain. See? Yeah. What was that Oregon's name again? Hugo. Uh, Hugo. Per Hugo. I thought that was part of it because it broke off the. Huh? Broke off almost all our. Uh, Marigolds. Yeah. A lot of them are not even out yet. This is an aster. Asters are beautiful. See, there's some of them just getting out now. Hmm. They come in all colors plus white, purple, pink, red, magenta. Yeah. Looks pretty good in the camera though, Mom. I don't think they got storm damage too much. Huh? No, it was the daisies that uh, I was worried about more than anything. Mm hmm Looks like most of these are gone. And there's still some more coming out. Broke off the, the yeah. big daffodil, the big uh, marigolds. Look, mm. beautiful they were. The little asters. Now they seem to have weathered the storm because they're not so big and heavy. So the rain, the wind didn't do as much damage. These are doing all right.
<laughs> it is? Yeah. For me, this has got to be the most beautiful flower of all. It's daisy. It's a daisy. A day. It's so simple, but still so beautiful. Yeah. Something about it. And they, I didn't expect to get any this year because this is the first year. They're not supposed to bloom the first year, they say. But I got two. This one will be open in a couple days. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping for, for more daisies next year. Plus I got some white asters too. And I like white asters. This poor little thing, I thought she'd blow away in the storm. But she made it. She's stronger than she looks. How about the carrots you saw there last year? There's your carrots. <laughs> <laughs> How about your carrots? Seems you that they never come so good. Show me now. You tell me. <laughs> That's your project. Did he, Eric? There. Yeah, but I think we probably uh, need a, a softer soil. The soil seems to be too heavy. Need to lighten up the soil some. Let's try one and see what we got. Oh, you're big. <laughs> well, actually, you know. What do you do? They grow later in the year. They grow in the fall. Like they, they get their size after. Uh, you know, later in the fall, right? Yeah. But if the soil is not soft all the way down, see what happens? They're, they're really forcing themselves. They're trying to find somewhere to grow. Yeah, it needs real soft. Yeah. Soft, uh, sandy soil. So much sand in it would be good. Hmm. Well, that was just the experiment. Okay, hold on. Cut off. See that again? <laughs> You're not too easy. Well, you're good at it. <laughs> All in the wrist, is it? I saw you boys. Not good. <laughs> what else you want done? <laughs> What have you been doing all day? I've been going somewhere by the looks of it. Well, you can't get Again, you must have forgot me. What, what do you take, uh, Hanson's place or what? Huh? George, what do you think of this day, boy? Thanksgiving and everything. You must I have a few words to say. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful day. Uh, thank God again for Thanksgiving. You're not saying much, huh? You're supposed to talk now. You're on camera, you know. <laughs> what are you just doing? Putting together a puzzle? Paul must have a few words to say, have you, Paul? No, boy, not today, you know. Huh? No, not today. Nothing to be thankful for, or what? Oh, yes. That should get you going. Thanks for my guitars. Your guitars? Keep George away from him, playing him all the time. <laughs> Knocking my <them> tune. <laughs> you had to take the violin. I got the strings for out of that. What do you say, Gina? 
Gina, what do you say about today and now Thanksgiving and everything? What? I'm thankful I got a place. What? I said I'm thankful that I got a place to live. Thankful you got a place to live? I don't have a house. Ernie Bumble over there? Oh, yeah. Just getting started with reception. The one that burned down there a few days ago, a uh, month ago. Yeah. Yes, mate, this one was. Oh, really? She's going to have this one? Oh, yeah. He's getting cold. Oh, Gina, you know that wouldn't fit. <laughs> You got a piece of it yet, Joy? I got one piece, sir. Did you? Yeah. Fit right in there. That's the one I had in there before. Yeah, like <laughs> ducks, you had that there before, yeah. You went and took it out and put it back in. <laughs> no trouble, no, she's a Johnson. <laughs> See, Johnson? What do you got to say on this nice Thanksgiving? Well, they, you know, uh, what is it, 1989? What do you got to say? What do you got to be thankful for? Everything. From all my little children, all this food. For you. <laughs> Don't record that. And how about you, Mrs. Woodward? Miss Woodward? Miss Rollard Woodward? All this food. <laughs> All except her. You must have something to say. Mm -hmm. I'm shy. I wish we had our other two kids here with us. There's a boat for somebody. Look. A boat. Booty. <laughs> All she needs is the sail. Well, my lovey, I think your pudding is just about ready. Yeah. Well, they look at it and they swear you're taking out the sink. What you think so she you? is. I have to take the sink. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> and a sink full of food. It's clean. Gotta get the pudding in this and put it in me. I gave her was my bird. Dad, you got the carpet. Hmm? Was PJ too? He's supposed to do that. Busy women, I'd say. To me? The knife. You have a cute big fork? Oh, we're going to have it. We don't care. It's not big, but it's strong. God, Rona, don't you drop that in the water. Come here, let me help you. We put it on a dinner plate. Two cooks in one kitchen, anything could happen. Yeah. Might actually get some food. Two cooks. Well, I'll turn off this one, now, eh? Okay, for the birdie. I'm not going to do anything with it until somebody comes to cut it. Oh, come here. Are you going to cut up the bird, the, the goose? I'm 
Regular sharp knife with the black handle that goes with that. Excuse me. Nothing there, is he up there, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of pie are you going to have? Paul apple or red berry? Red. You're, you already said that. Huh? So that's why he went to the part where he pie. He got a mark. Alright, that's not bad. Can't find a knife, buddy. Here, that one, huh? When did you make those lunches? Yesterday, that's, that's what Gina said. Oh, that's what Gina said. Oh, that's what Gina said. You going to have your uh, pasta, Gina? Can we cut this up this way? No, obviously. Oh, Alright, this one. It looks like they're big, round. I was going to say this different. Mm -hmm. Well, you got there, Pa. A couple of turkeys, is it? No. What? A couple of turkeys. I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you call George? Show your dad what the hell he's called, huh? Geese, boy. How you doing, George? Not bad at all, Alvin, boy. Not bad at all. Nice day, Alvin, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this man here wants a hand on how to cut up that turkey. In this cage, Yes, my darling. Yeah, we got to get a couple more chairs, too. Oh. Some heavy now. Looks like a goose to me, Alvin. Goose, is it? Yeah. Yes, boy. Goose is a boy. <laughs> yeah. Bring those chairs in from out here. Yeah. Oh, boy. Brad was old and as eaten. Oh, she wants his flute in. Tough palm? I don't know, boy. We should sit down now and start eating before uh, it's cold. It started getting cold. Where's that plate going? Oh, well, the dressing is in here. Do we need another plate? No, this is. Uh, yes, we do. Some of the disappearing food. But you took it for the pudding. No, you I took it from up there. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Absolutely positive. Oh, Gina's lasagna is in the oven. Oh, okay. Take one of those, I guess. Yeah. We're not going to be able to get the, the bird on the table on this. We've served vegetables now. Let's everybody pick up the vegetables, okay? Get out of that box. Get out of that box. No, Alvin, you better come on before we get it all eaten. Alvin, you get in the middle, okay? You'll end up with a Charlie. I'm coming right now, George, but. You're going to end up with a Charlie and a stick. Oh. You don't be careful. i got to get the. Uh, Yes, just stuff on there. I had to lose on it. made a small bit. Don't you? Okay. Pass up Alvin's plate. Melvin's going to put a piece on. You want to have some? Okay, you take a piece of that. Some you have yours? Yeah. Is it? Oh, my. I'm not much spending. What's wrong with this? Bob, I got Paul's flu. Egyptian flu. What he got from Paul's Mohammed. Paul's ducky is here, too. What he got from Mohammed. <laughs> That's right, Jerry. Yeah, you know. I'm not even out one bit dressed up. Gina, can you please sit down? Take a seat. Sit down, huh? Please. No, no, my dear. Let's sit down. Let's say for a blessing. 
for saying that. I thought we'll see if we could burn it on the table. That's what the plan was. Everybody get the vegetables and we clear the stuff off and put the bird there. Mm -hmm. I'll put the bird there anyway. We'll get it in there. Okay, that's no. <laughs> Leave it like that. Lord, we thank you for your bounty. Most of all, we thank you for our families and, and your love. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want the gravy? George, you going to have some gravy? No, I don't. All the nurses are ready. Come and sit down, dear. So what are we going to do? Some gravy? No, I'll go with the meat. That's not small. <laughs> huh? Gina, okay. madame, we need some wine glasses, huh? Don't we? None for me, thanks, Gina. <coughs> Sorry? Take your time, Elsie. Not too fast. Now, now, Elsie, but I did a chance to get a picture. My poor Jays. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to get it all out of place on Monday. Aren't you going to have some goose? No. Nope. Why not? Yeah. We're all going to have a good morning, please. I'm going to wash my hands before I can get the pie. Who wants a cup of tea? Do you want your apple pie warm, Delbert? Yes, please. Cup of tea. No, thank you. No. You want no, blackberry pie, apple pie, or a pie? I'll have a big apple. I'll have a big apple. Big apple? You're a big apple pie. Hey, hey, I didn't tell you. I did not. No. I know you're doing. Where's Paul? Downstairs. Before I went to work last night, I had someone a cup of tea. I was doing the puzzle with you. Oh, yeah. You dug into it, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> what do you want to dig into? Uh. I need to get a piece of that red berry pie. Starters. Listen to him. He doesn't want to cut a pie that he wants. Red berry for starters. Sounds like he's going to want something else. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he quit. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm going to have this cup of tea, though. <gasps> you got to make it down to yours, too, I suppose. Have some more sugar. Yes, No, nah, she said, Dad, you're going, to, you're going to dry beans. <laughs> Uh, send bread back here. Now don't we get a piece of pie? Do you want this kind of tea? Or you know tea? I'm going to have that one. But uh, I just want a real weak cup. Okay, should be big. Should, should be big. You want it. Where's your cup? Here? Right there. Come on. Melvin, can you get the ice cream out of the fridge, my love, please? I'll have I'll have some baked apple pie for starters too, I think. <laughs> we got jam too, baked apple jam. Mm. Under lock and key, of course. Yes. What do you keep it down? What do you say? Okay, I'll see I'll pour yours up first. You can just take it out when it's ready here. Yeah. What kind of pie you have now? <coughs> this one? For starters. Yeah. I thought Elsie was going to eat that piece of gizzard and she never touched it. Thank you. Oh, my son, I Paul and Gina, come on up. Good, I want. Good. Good. Yeah, that here. You want to take your. Uh, you want some pie? Yeah. Too strong, yeah. Is it? Good. Yeah, it's good goose, though. That's my kind of pie you have. I'll have uh, red berry, I guess. Ever tried black bear? You ever? Huh? You ever tried black bear? Black bear. Mm. Black bear. Mm. The B E A R. Oh, like an animal. Eat, you mean? Mm -hmm. Pass that down for me and give me the more plates. I have beaver. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. 
I think it's hot, but I can't come bear me. Your mouth is full of bear meat. Huh? You don't like bear meat at all. No. Why is that tough? Not really. It's very tender. Oh, not tough. No. What's it taste like? Like bear. It okay. doesn't taste like bear. I suppose, but I can't tell. It's it like a strong taste. It, is it? No, it's a sweet. I don't know Rota? what it's like. Rota? It's not strong. It though. barely it's tastes as fit to eat. <laughs> That's like people have the beaver. Beaver. Oh, beaver wicked taste. Oh, oh, one, beaver. Oh, no, like oh. beaver is the best meat you can get. Beaver. Yes. The one. Yeah. It must taste like a... Oh, you never tried it before, have you? No. Oh, a, oh, a beaver roast. I'll say it is. Oh, make your mouth drink. Must rat, same thing. Weasel, same thing. Well, anything is. I haven't caught one new yet. <laughs> You're too bad. You're too sly. I, I don't know, I did something about. What difference? You've got Chinese and go for the, uh, the, uh, the cats and the dogs. What difference? <laughs> Here, stop the pollution. Come on, Paula. Hey, Alvin. Your pee is torn off. Your pee is torn. Why else do you need that? Every time I go in, I see them little nuggets that will come to my mind. Oh, that's chicken. That's chicken nuggets. That's chicken nuggets. You're not supposed to say that. Yeah. Cat. They don't know the difference because they never taste cat before. See, so George, no, like me and you. No. Who's having ice cream on their pie? Thank <laughs> you. 